Load G Nation, it's your host G, and we got a preview for a brand new character, the well-requested Carrion Cross TikTok. He's a striker. Now, if we have a look at his card, the coach ability at 21,000 is take 30% less damage from any color submission move. So pretty much something you would use if you know that you're going to be facing someone with a pretty strong sub move. Probably not a big deal as far as coachability. Probably wouldn't use it myself. Uh, he has a link with SmackDown and the Modern Era. Now, as far as movesets go, I can tell you there looks like there is a ton of a moveset that you can do out of it. Out of it. And uh, I'm sure I probably won't even think of all of them right now. But the first one we're going to have a look at is the one that pretty much jumps on me. The triple yellow, which means you require six star to do this one. And we're going to do the preview at six star bronze, by the way. I tried to do the preview on a stream earlier, but I had a bunch of technical issue with my computer. And well, actually, it was more with my streaming software, which I think I have fixed now. But we're going to do this offline now. So triple yellow is the roundhouse kick. 6 MP or yellow move, deal 1.58 million damage and move the pin bar left by 9 notches. TikTok 4 MP yellow move, this move can only be used while pinned, deal 382k damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for 2 turn. And a time's up, 4 MP L move. This move can only be used while pin as well. Deal 394k damage and make 3 random gems into 1 turn countdown gem that will deal 460k damage and swap a 2x4 random area into yellow gem at the end of the countdown. Now the trainers we're going to be using for that is pretty much everything that boosts yellow move damage. Uh, we got uh, Orton here, which also you got, I believe, Biggie uh, Showboat that makes so that yellow move do 45% more damage. All of Fame Recruit for 25%, and uh, we also have Gooker for another 25%. I do have Showboat Cena here that adds 45% more damage to the yellow gems which we're going to be making a bunch with the countdown and also start with two more MP points because even with the uh, perks that are on, I was still missing one MP. Could have gone with Santa instead. Decided to go with Cena since it's also going to help with the uh, with the yellow damage. But I could have instead, instead put Biggie for even higher damage and just switch uh either Gooker or Rude for Santa Hogan and that would have worked too. Right. Uh, as far as the belt, I got two takedown and two takedown two. Uh, I do have a maxed out tier five yellow takedown medal that adds 200 percent making it 259 percent move damage. I did put the boss plate although I don't think it's gonna be much of a factor here. Uh, put put a plate that helps you reload your yellow should you need it, but I don't think the plate is going to be much of an effect for this move set. Let's try this. Now we are facing Thierry at six star bronze as well from the challenge tour. Uh, unfortunately, he's a trickster, so hopefully we're not going to get dodged so I can show this properly. So first off, we're going to use the Rana's kick, which will do 6.9 million damage right off the bat and it actually push or pin bar all the way to the left which makes it so i won't get a pin but it also makes it so that he has a pretty big chance of pinning me on his turn and i want him to pin him because if he pin, uh, i want him to pin me because if he pins me then i got two of those moves doing like 1.7 and 1.6 mil, plus I'm gonna stun him. So I'm not even gonna use this five match I got here. I'm just gonna go for this yellow match here. Hopefully he's gonna go for it. There you go, that pins me. Now we are gonna stun him for two turn, plus we just did two million. 
Now we're gonna put those, 1.7 million. We got two of those. Now we just gotta get out of the pin, which is only 100K. So pretty much anything I match will do. And my uh, countdown are gonna go off on my turn because he's stunned, so he's not gonna do anything anyway. There you go, he's gonna get out of that. Well, maybe not, it still did two million. And that ended up doing a lot. <laughs> I didn't expect the uh, the countdown gem doing that much damage. We're gonna give we're gonna give that another shot. I just want to make sure it wasn't a fluke. But that worked out a lot. That worked out really good. Obviously, we're not always going to have a five match available for him to pin us. So, even more reason to try this again. All right. So, we're going to do, again, 6.9 mil. Let's grab yellow again. Oh crap. We got a double match. That means he might not pin us. And he did not. But that's fine because I got yellow and refilled the whole thing. And we're going to do another 6.9 mil. At which point now, I just need a pin. Let's get another yellow. It's going to be his turn. He's already out of health, I just need to generate a pin. That's gonna pin me. I think he I think he got the bleed out though. Yeah, he got the bleed, so that's gonna leave me obviously with a pretty big missing L pool, because he has a very strong bleed. Get out of the pin. Oh, this is going to go off. And it's obviously going to pin him. And we're done. As you can see, the uh, <laughs> boss plate is pretty irrelevant for this. Alright, let's have a look at something other than this. Although this is pretty damn strong. Alright, second move set for Carrion Cross. We're gonna do a variation of what we just saw. Uh, we're gonna use the Roundhouse Kick, which is 6 MPL move, deal 1.58 million damage and move the pin bar left by 9 notches. We're gonna use a Cross Jacket, 10 MP Black move, submission, place 7 sub gems and do 289k damage for 3 turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into multiply gem of strength 4 and a doomsday saito if that's how it's pronounced 5 mp black move deal 128k damage and choose 8 gems to destroy our trainers we're going to use for that pretty similar to what we just see uh what we just saw we're going to be using all move damage uh, trainers and coaches although this time we're going to be starting with woods for the black now, one thing, since we're going to be using two black moves, well, we're going to be using the Drip Jacket to increase or, uh, well, to put some multipliers on the map. Now, I don't, what I don't like about this move set is that I basically have nothing to refill my moves after I use my Saito to get my uh, eight gems destroyed. So I'm not really sure that's going to work out, but we're going to give it a shot. Still versus Thierry. Okay, so we need two yellow and two black. And we do have a bunch of blacks that are eyes, so I'm going to try to push my luck and try to reset my black. 
That worked out. We did refill the move. So now we got the roundhouse kick that is going to do 6.9 million. It's ridiculously high. There you go. Now we're going to be using the submission. Now, since we do have the other black move that is ready, we're going to try to put that on yellow and black. Okay, now he doesn't seem to be close of having a move ready, so we can just get all the blacks and yellow. Typically, you could go like just two yellow and you'd be ready. Actually, I think I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna take, oh yeah, the problem is that if I do that, those are gonna cascade and it's gonna be too many of them. Actually, those two should be enough. Let's try that. There you go. It is enough to fill my... Because it's a pretty cheap. It costs six. We're going to use it. That's going to take, obviously, all his alt. The little he had left. There you go. And uh, now... We go for the pin. I got to say, this worked out better than I expected it would. It is probably not the best use out of the drip blade, though. There's a lot better way to use it, but it works out. All right, let's try something else. All right, other move set, completely different. It is going to be the triple black this time. It is the cross jacket, 10 MP black move, submission, play seven submission gems, and do 288.9k damage for three turn while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gem turn into multiply gem of straight four. The Exploder Suplex, 7 MP Black Move, deal 136k damage and increase the strain of your Multiply Gem by 5. And a Doomsday Saito, 5 MP Black Move, deal 128.2k damage and choose 8 gems to destroy. Now we have plenty of options as far as what we want to do here. We can use the uh, Drip Blade again because it's 3 Black Move. We could use the Ronda Jacket which would improve or uh, damage on specifically those gems. And we can go with trainers that boost either the multiply or trainers that boost the submission. So multiple options for the same three moves. So the first we're going to try is to boost the multiplies. So I got both uh, Matt and Mamrock here to boost the strain by three plus an extra 5%. And I still put uh, Rocky here just to add another 50% and one turn to the submission. Now, I don't really care for the extra turn. 50% uh, is pretty nice because it moves that submission at 433k for four turn, which that alone is like 1.6k at uh, 1.6 mil right away. Uh, also, first, we're going to try with the drip plate. Now, we're going to try the jacket after this because I really want to compare those two. But we're going to try that out. So let's see. I do have some Fury 2 medals equipped as well. All right. Don't have a lot of uh, blacks. We're going to try to grab five. One, two, three, four, five, and I don't really have a choice to break this one too, because otherwise we're gonna have a cascade. Got lucky on that one. <laughs> Let's go with the sub. Now I'm gonna put the sub on the few blacks I have left. And let's put on some yellows. Can put on purples too. Actually, I probably should have checked if yellow or purple is his second color. Uh, 
Let's check now. So yellow do 20k. Okay, so yellow is the second color. Alright, so now we're going to increase the value of those multipliers. So we got some 15, some 12, and since we used the black move, it popped a bunch of other 7s. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Unfortunately, we don't have a black 7, so we're not going to be able to recycle it. If we had a black with 7 on it, we could have gone and do this again, but now we only have blacks with 12, so that's not going to work. We'll just break a bunch. There you go. That should still do a decent amount. Yeah. 3.6. That's not going to be enough to keep him down. Right, we are pretty, pretty far. Mm. I'm not going to use the one that boosts them because my seven would be too high. I'm just going to do this one just to get another set of sevens. There you go. That reload the move anyway. Now we're going to put the sub. One, two, three, four, five. There was not really any point putting it there because he's going to break him. Let's put it on some purples. It's a bit slow for my taste. Okay, let's increase. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right, that means I can go for one of those 12s, and hopefully it's going to stay my turn. There you go, perfect. We're going to increase them yet again. Now we got a black 17 here that does 703. Checking the different options we got here. Any purple is nice too. All right, well, let's break some. Let's break those two blacks. This is going to cascade the greens here. I'm going to grab the purples. And let's break this one here. Maybe the 15 here is going to be higher. Or oh, actually, 17 is going to be higher. All right, let's do this. Six mil left to five mil after mitigation. All right, that broke, that worked out pretty good. Well, let's try that, but with the uh, with the Ronda jacket instead of the drip plate now. All right, so this is going to be exactly the same thing we just tried. Same move, same trainer, same coaches, but we're switching the drip plate for the Ronda jacket, which is whenever you generate three or more sub, increase your yellow and black gem damage by 100% for two turns. Sorry, I got a candy cane <laughs> in the mouth, so. All right, so we're gonna try that. So obviously we're gonna go and target black and yellow. Right. Now I don't need to try and cycle my black move as much because I'm not going to be making any of those multipliers here. We'll just get we'll just get the five we need. 
There you go. Now we're going to get the sub up. We're going to put it on black and yellow. Now that's great. They all stayed there. Now we're going to boost them. They're 12s, but they are 12s doing 728 because they're boosted. Now we're going to break them. Actually, I guess I can break those four. It's gonna cascade and drop down. Four point eight after mitigation. Well, I need to not kick out of it. I think I like this better than with the drip plate first, cause there's much more effective character to put the drip plate on than this but second because you waste a hell of a lot less time figuring out where to put your stuff and trying to break just enough to get more out this is a lot simpler all right let's look at something completely different now all right actually we're not going to try something completely different we're going to try something slightly different we're going to go with all submission trainers and all instead of multiply damage. So we're going to replace the black move that increased the multiply with the TikTok, which is a 4 MP yellow move. Move can only be used while pin, deal 382k damage and force your opponent to skip their turn for two turns. So it's basically going to be a backup if we get pinned to just stun him and do our thing. Now, Trainers, we're going to go still with Woods to start with more black. We're going to put KO here so that our submission lasts three more turns. And the black gems are going to do 20% more damage, which is going to be useful for those we're going to be uh, destroying anyway. We keep uh, Rocky so that the sub does another 50% and lasts another turn. And we are going to add Shelton so that it does another 20% per turn. That means we're overall going to have a 491,000 sub for 7 turn. That's like 3.4 mil or something like that. It's going to be a lot. Uh, we're going to keep the Ronda jacket here since we're going to be again targeting black and yellow. Since we also with KO get the bonus on black. Let's see this. Okay, well, there's barely any black on this board. Okay. Hopefully some of them survive, because otherwise we're going to have an issue. Two gone. That's the problem with long subs is that more often than not, nothing is going to survive. So we got one that survived. pretty weak come on pin me
Take five more. Another 3.5. Unfortunately, we're most likely going to lose those because they're next to each other. Or not, or maybe. Yeah. Oh, come on, leave my blacks alone. There you go, now we're pinned. So we're gonna stun him. Now we're gonna get out of it. Come on. Let's do some damage. Try to get more black at the same time. This is painful. Survive. I think we only need one and it's gonna be over. Alright, it worked out. We end up barely losing any health, really. But this is way too random for my taste. There's so much thing that can go wrong if you don't have those blacks. I don't like that. I like all the other moves that much better. All right, let's try something else now. All right, last move set, which I don't even remember is move set number what, because it seems like I've been at this for hours. <laughs> but I suspect it's not going to be my favorite. It's probably going to be my least favorite. It is a crossface, six MP purple move submission, generate 30 random submission gems and do 175,000 damage for five turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining sub gems turn into immobile gems. The cross hammer, six MP purple move, deal 121.7K damage and choose one gem to make into two turn juggernaut gem that will deal 144.7K bonus damage for every immobile gem on every cooldown cool turn. Countdown turn, sorry, and destroy 30 random Ibabal gem at the end of the countdown. And the TikTok 4 MP yellow move. This move can only be used while pin deal 382.3k damage and force your opponents to skip their turn for two turns. Now you could alternatively switch this yellow with the other that generates an area of yellows and everything, but I kind of like the stun a little better. Now, the main issue I have with this moveset is that you only make one Juggernaut. So if it gets broken, you are screwed. Also, you make 30, but it is five turns. So there's a good chance that a lot of those are going to be gone. And uh, God knows how many are going to be destroyed by that point. So I think this might be pretty low damage. Uh, I'm going to try to boost it up by putting a bunch of immobile trainers. We got Rock adding 35%, we got Ogan adding 100%, and we got Eddie adding 50%. 185 Immobile Gem bonus with that. Uh, you could also go and just boost everything for the submission, at which point you're probably really not gonna have any of them left, because, uh, well, that would be like a eight turn submission. Actually, it would be a nine turn submission. So there's no way anything would be left after that anyway. So that's why I'm going this way instead. Uh, also, I put in here the, uh, what's his name, the smoke. So that when I break three blue, I get three purple. That is merely so I can try to reload my purple move should anything go wrong and I don't have any purple match or no purple get destroyed in the ammo ball or basically it's just a backup. Let's try that.
All right, so we're gonna put our juggernaut. Now, typically the computer don't touch the loot gems. So we're gonna try to put it there and hope that it sticks. Now we're gonna lay the 30 subs. don't have any purple match and uh, I don't have any blue match to get the purple either actually I barely have any match of anything we're gonna go with this I guess now my jug will go off wasn't on any well, actually we did get a few purples Okay, we're going to do that again. I'm going to put it here. Again, we don't have any blue or any purples. Oh, that's gonna give me some blue next turn, maybe. Oh, actually, we got purple. That's gonna end my turn. Yeah, it only does 700k, so that's pretty weak overall. And we're gonna get hit by his nasty bleed. The fact that it went off did only 700k actually costed me the fact that I could have used the sub instead. And if I would have used the sub, well, I wouldn't be hit by the bleed. can get a purple unfortunately it's gonna cost me three of those immobiles I guess I'll I get the damage earlier that's gonna go off this is gonna cost me my turn again yes it did I definitely don't like that One, two, three. I mean it works but I don't like it So that's pretty much it. I mean, we could go on and on with different movesets. Uh, I mean, you get the ID by now. None of them are going to be anywhere close to the first one we saw. First one was really, really good. The triple yellow, that is definitely what I would use. Wouldn't bother with anything else, unless not yet six star, obviously. Then I would probably go with one of the other. Actually, I, which one would I go for? I don't know. Probably the triple black. I would use without uh, being six star but yeah that's it for uh, carrion cross finally making it to the game uh, really powerful character already released by the time you're seeing this thanks for watching guys if you're not already a sub make sure to do so to be kept aware when i post new stuff have any questions ask them and if you like the video leave a like and share see you guys gia ciao